As small businesses get ready to enter the third calendar year of the pandemic, that's hard to believe, they do so having to overcome huge economic challenges. And now they're battling new struggles. Tune is Oklahoma's Jeanette Quesada talked with a Brookside restaurant owner who says despite this, he's hopeful for a brighter new year. Jeanette. Karen, the owner tells me customers are back and they're doing really well. Now the difficulty is getting the staffing numbers back to where they were pre-COVID. Kenny Chan is the owner of Sushi Hana. His restaurant sits at the heart of Midtown on Peoria. For the past 10 years, this former New Yorker has been enriching the palates of the Tulsa community with sushi. We are fusion of uh, all type, a little bit of Korean flavor to Japanese, uh, mostly Japanese and Chinese food. But since the pandemic started, operating his small business has not been a colorful experience. As for most restaurateurs, the pandemic has been challenging. In January 2020, Chan sold one of his two locations, not because he didn't have customers, but because he could not find a sushi chef. It's high stress. You have you, days that you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. That same year, he closed his doors for two and a half months. He says the Tulsa community helped him survive. We have hard time when we close down, but they're, they're, they're all there for us for like to go orders. Almost two years later, doors are back open for dine-in, but he's now facing staff shortages. Before the pandemic, he says he needed five servers, but right now he has about two servers working a day. He says sometimes some of them call out sick. Others are just burnt out. We have to juggle a lot. So if uh, if my employee doesn't come to work, I have my wife coming or I have a little help. My daughter, both of my daughter come and help us do the dishes. And supply chain issues or shipment delays have also made it tough. Sushi is uh, harder to get. A lot of things are harder to get. But despite it all, Chan is grateful for a supportive community and hopes next year is filled with better days ahead. And Chan tells me he is planning on soon opening up a ramen restaurant sometime next year. He's still working on the location. Live in studio, Janet Quesada, 2 News, Oklahoma.